pursuant to the Texas Open Meetings Act, notice is given that we have a special called meeting of the Commissioner's Court to be held today, Tuesday, February the 8th, 2022, at 11 o'clock or immediately following the Commissioner's Court at the Hood County Justice Center, the Century Jury Room, 1200 West Pearl Street. And the purpose is to discuss and consider approving payment of an invoice from Klein Products, Inc. for repairs to Tanker 90 in the amount of $72,515.36. Miss Kidd. Good morning, sorry, I can't. Judge okay. Commissioners, this has kind of been a battle to get this completely correct. Uh, the problem started when there wasn't sufficient budget to pay for the repairs because this would have wiped out the entire budget for vehicle maintenance in the fire marshal's department. So we came to court and we agreed to pay for it out of contract services. So you agreed to have me do a line item transfer, that was done. We were given an invoice which has been paid. I was under the impression the vehicle was ready. The vehicle's not ready. That is why we have the, the we pull the check. Why? Mr. Uh, Commissioner Andrews said, let's pull this check. As of two seconds ago, I do not have an email stating that the, all the testing has been complete on this. And we are not going to pay for something that's not complete. I, we've been kind of down that road before and I'm waiting to hear from them. They've been very gracious. I have the email from her saying as of yesterday morning, they were going to do testing yesterday and she would let me know when it was complete. So don't have a completed email that it's ready. So that's why we, we have the check ready. I told her we had the check ready. And when we get the okay that all the tests are good, we can issue the check. It will stay in the treasurer's vault until then. This is basically just, we're trying to get ahead of this to, to eliminate any delay at all by exactly. going ahead and approving this purchase beforehand and then we'll just hold the check until we get the, the all clear that everything's completed on the truck and then, then release the funds immediately. That way they don't have to wait until next commissioner's court to get this truck back in service. Because I, I believe so. this has been an ongoing <laughs> since last summer, the repairs, I, I believe. It's, it's been a lengthy. And I was unaware so. when the check was issued that it was not completely repaired or completely tested. When that became apparent, we're holding the check, and that's the proper way to do that. So who signs off on the repairs? Is well, I'm waiting to hear from Klein Products. Again, I talked to them yesterday. Uh, she emailed, her name is Melinda Clayton. She emailed me and said, uh, for our conversation, Unit 43649-C is currently undergoing final inspections testing. I'm hoping to have more information closer to the end of the day and we'll let you know as soon as I receive. I, didn't, I haven't heard anything from this since this email, which was yesterday morning. Okay. So I'm just following procedure. We don't want to pay for something that's not ready. Good. But we but do we have do the want check. To eliminate all the, all the delay that we can, so have this, have this ready to go. So. Tell us what's going on. I actually talked to the tech this morning. They still have an electrical issue that they're, stri they're trying to track down. They said the electrical issue was not part of the work that they had done, but before they released the truck as being completed, they wanted to fix that electrical issue. And I was told that as I was walking into court this morning. I asked him for an estimate. He said he really can't give me anything because they don't, uh, we, chasing down electrical gremlins is, of course, we all know it's complicated, so that they do still have an electrical issue that they're trying to resolve. So do you think we're going to get an additional bill, or do you don't know? I don't think we're going to get an additional bill. Somebody might, but I don't think we will. We have an invoice for the standard work that they have provided. So again, I got an invoice. It was I was under the impression the vehicle was ready. It wasn't, so that's another reason to hang on to things. And when I came to court, last court, and asked to have it paid for, they gave me the impression that they were like two or three days out from being done. Of course, that was two weeks ago, and it's still not complete, so. Yet again, another reason to make sure. Thank you, Jeff. Yes, ma'am. Trust but verify. What? <laughs> Trust, but verify. Absolutely. Okay. Any other questions, gentlemen? Is 
ready to go? Or should we have uh, Jeff Young decide, test drive it himself and see if it's all working? Well, it's, it's not oh. close. Where is it? Minnesota. <laughs> They say it's sunny up there yeah, this time great, of the year. Great time of year for Wait, I think it's in California. Yeah, isn't it? <laughs> You're just the man to go up to Minnesota. Yeah. Uh, what, where is it? You just Sorry, if I go to if I go to Minnesota, I'm riding snowmobiles again. <laughs> but no, I think I think this truck right now is in Dallas. I was under the impression that it was up somewhere northeast, but the, it's at Cummins in Dallas. Okay. So can we approve the money subject to everything being all right? Yes, please. Yeah. That's, okay. Yeah, I, like I say, I talk to the tech. If when, when I speak to the tech and he tells me yeah, everything's done, it's ready to go, then uh, you know I, I'm I'm going to depend upon the chief Matt Hutzel to go out there and tell me yes, it's done, and and maybe even send him with the check so he can hand deliver it. Because I did talk to him after last court, and he said they would not be able to release the truck until it's been paid for. So we're, we're kind of at a and we don't want to pay pay for it. Anymore. Right, That's correct. right. So right. we're kind of at that little conundrum where we got to pay for it when it's done, but we've got to make sure it's done before we pay for it. So, right. But I, I think if, if, if we get everything approved and we authorize Matt, the chief, to take the check with him, if he does the test drive and says, yes, everything's good and checks off and agrees that it's, compared, that it's completely repaired, then he can hand them the check and they can drive home. Right. So is that how you want to do it? Is that <laughs> when Klein Products tells us that everything is ready, then we go ahead and sign the check, hand it to Chief Mac Hutzel, and let him take it with him. And I'm sure he's going to test drive it. Right, and if they get out there and they're not satisfied with repairs, then they can yeah. negotiate that while they're there. Yeah, okay. So I dare hear a motion to that effect. Okay, Judge, I'll make the motion that we prepare the check for whenever Klein Products says the truck is ready, then Chief Hutzel will pick up the check and go upon his approval that the truck is ready, deliver the check to Klein Products. Second. Okay. Any comment or questions to the motion that was just made by Commissioner Andrews regarding the uh, Tanker 90? Okay, if not, although uh, that motion was made by Commissioner Andrews, second by Commissioner Eagle, that the check be prepared, signed, and when Klein Product says that the Tanker 90 is <coughs> fully ready to hand that check to Chief Hutzel so that he can take it to Klein Products and if in fact the truck is fully ready, hand the check to him and take delivery of the tanker. Yes, sir. Second by Commissioner Eagle. <coughs> All those in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Motion carries 5-0. Thank you very much.